my favorite thing in the whole world, chopped chicken liver. I will tell you this is my grandmother's recipe. I will also tell you it is probably the tastiest chopped liver you will ever have. And if you wanna cook like a baller Jewish grandmother, get on this recipe right now. I would insist that you go to a butcher shop and buy real chicken livers. You could do it with a little bit of butter if you like. I'm gonna do this just with schmaltz because I've superheated my pan and I don't want burnt butter in there. I've got some minced onion. I'm gonna add some salt to this. The salt pulls the water out of the onion. And when the water comes out of the onion, so too does the sugar that's in that onion juice. And we do want these onions to caramelize. While those are cooking, I've got my hard boiled eggs. I've got my box grater. Using firm pressure and stroke, push and drag, push and drag. What that's doing is it's putting those feathery strands of egg into the bowl. I also like minced parsley. I want people to bite down on nice pieces of Italian parsley, which lend light, bitter sweetness to anything that it goes into. Our onion is starting to brown. What that means is the moisture is out of the onion, and it means it will start to brown all over pretty quickly. Mm. All right. Onions and the schmaltz they were cooked in. A little more schmaltz. I don't want my pan to get too hot because then you can get a bitter crust on the outside of your livers. But I like to move them around a little bit because as they shrink, it opens up more space in the pan for liquid to evaporate and for browning to take place. You can see it's starting to turn gray around the edges. So we know what that means. It might be ready to flip. I want there to be some nice browning and caramelization. Season them up. Add some black pepper to my food processor. Look at the beautiful sear we have on those livers. They're just firmed up enough. They've been cooking for 20 minutes, and because we've been watching our temperature, that fond on the bottom there is still brown and not bitter in the least. And we're gonna let them rest in the food processor for four or five minutes before we puree them. Season this dish again. We have a few tablespoons of schmaltz in there. There's another tablespoon and a half. And the reason that I pulse it like that is that I'm not making cat food. I'm making chopped chicken liver. I'm trying to emulate my grandmother's grinder. And so you can see here that I have a paste surrounding chunks that are the size maybe of the onions that I put in there to begin with. And I dump all of that into my egg parsley mixture. I just wanna make sure that my egg and parsley and seasoning is all in there. Put this in the refrigerator, uncovered for about a half an hour to let it cool, and then I cover it, and then you can serve it. By the way, I serve chopped chicken liver at every single holiday. A little bit of time spent in the fridge. Oh my God, my grandmother's chopped chicken liver recipe. Mm. So sinfully rich, so organy and beautiful.